Okay guys, welcome back to the channel. Hope you had a great Christmas. I'm actually filming this Christmas night. Been in PJs all day. Last day I could wear this hat. It's been actually pretty cold. I think cold throughout the entire country. So hopefully you stayed warm. Had a great Christmas. You're probably watching this closer to New Year's, which uh, I may be in Vegas for New Year's. So maybe a little window where I'm not doing some videos for you guys. But actually the member section and the WhatsApp group will probably be pretty popular. But real quick, I want to give a shout out. This is a video I wanted to do to supplement my product of the year video with at least honorable mention other things there were so many great things in 2022 that i felt bad just giving one product of the year there's so many products and even people i met accessories i want to cover that in this video but first I want to give a shout out to all my subscribers and members this channel has really grown this year but it's not just metric of growing one thing i really wanted to do was curate it to be a very quality level of subscribers and commenting and especially in the membership section and yeah that's a lot of fun everyday interactions there and as well on all the videos i have very few trolls or anything to deal with so thanks to you guys uh the subscribership is growing but it's all high quality people and i enjoy meeting you guys so that's definitely uh one of the things that deserve merit from 2022 and all the shows i went to and what I want to do is kind of do this wrap-up video for 2022. Kind of, I'm doing a stream of conscious like I normally do, but I kind of want to go through each show in my mind and just tell you what popped out to me uh, from those shows. Then those are usually the things that deserve merit if they still resonate in my head. So starting with probably the first show of 2022 was the Tampa show, Florida Audio Show. And I got to say, uh, one of the things that is the litmus test of whether or not it deserves merit is if I buy it. And so that was the show where I encountered the Stax X9000 headphone and the Blue Hawaii headphone amp. And I broke all my rules that I said in the uh, mistakes audio files make and doing thorough reviewing and all that. I just fell in love with it after a few tracks and knew it was a unicorn in my head just from that brief audition that I bought it. And actually the three of my guys started carrying both products. It's still not my actual headphones haven't even come in yet but i did get a loaner pair a demo pair to briefly audition and review i have a video on my channel from this year it definitely is a unicorn i've gone and listened to the focals i've owned two thousand dollar three thousand dollar fifteen hundred dollar headphones tried all kinds of even other electrostatics and even other stacks in the line there's just something about the x9000 especially married to that blue hawaii amp that fits my profile so i want to give that definitely merit for 2022 award and certainly it's one that i think if you're in the market for cost no object headphones want to hear something that may be a unicorn to you as well definitely should check that out now another product that comes to my mind from florida auto show i didn't technically buy it at that time although it is a part of the bach sp that i will be getting but that rme baby face that my friend doug bought uh, he uses that a lot. It's actually a high-quality DAC. They're thought of more in the pro realm, and Doug's using it with his uh, guitar playing and mixing and kind of stuff. It's a really great tool, great product. When something my friends buy and then use and find invaluable, and I see them. Uh, I had a feature at my friend Doug's house where I saw him use it, as well as at the show as well. He used it. That product definitely stands out and deserves merit. One that gets overlooked and also is a good budget and I'll have maybe a few other budget category things to mention as I go through the year. But also at that show was kind of the first time I spent in-depth listening to uh, Wally Tools demo, JR, and also Charles Kiermus and his record cleaner. I don't have vinyl, so it really wasn't something that I ever really stayed and paid attention to at a you know level that I did that that show. But it gave me a new appreciation for how important it is for setup, just like setting up your speakers and your room properly, it's even more critical with turntable setup. And that actually played out as the year went on, as I'll probably get to when I go through this stream of conscious. But JR has become a friend, Charles Kiermus. I actually own his speaker cable as well. Again, putting my money where my mouth is. I've had him for many years, though. Uh, those are two guys that I always hang out to show with and top notch uh, quality product. Everybody, all of my friends that have vinyl rigs have bought their stuff, uh, either the record cleaner and or the Wally tools, even the expensive microscopes that JR sells. So definitely check out his products. And if you have a vinyl rig, if you're not using one of their two products, 
uh, or a combination of them, uh, you may be missing out on some performance. So check that out. Um, also from that show that really captured my attention was the United Home Audio tape deck, something I don't have and something I would buy if $90,000 uh, was like chunk change to me. Uh, you know, I just can't justify 90000 <laughs> just uh, pay paying that. But in terms of a piece that is state of the art, cost no object, you know, the level of construction and the investment, though, that it would require for me to get material and whatnot is uh, quite uh, extensive. So it's not something that you should go into lightly, but, and certainly not a budget piece. And you can have some great um, tape decks without spending a fortune. But if you're in the cost no object budget, you've got a great tape collection. You want to look at that United Home Audio product because that's an all out assault on creating the best possible with construction quality parts and whatnot. And, uh, yeah, he's a great guy with the high end by Oz room, Greg. So, uh, definitely check that out. I'm going to have a category as I go on, on distributors that stood out this year. So I'll get to that as I go through this uh, video, but yeah, that's, that's a great room always. And United home audio is the, the really the one audiophile true tape deck company that is pretty much uniform, uh, universally thought of as the best. So props to them for 2022 coming to my attention. Also, after that was the Expona show. And I guess there's only one thing I was known for after Expona as being Mr. Aries Surratt, because I brought a lot of attention to that Aries Surratt Aurora speaker. Not so much because the sound in the room was the best ever, uh, but because it was a little bit small for the room and how it was set up. But the delta that I went through from thinking it was total BS when I first went in there and never really being all that impressed with Aries Surratt before. Not so much being unimpressed, but just not capturing anything of my attention and looking at it in depth. But then getting more in depth understanding of that Aurora speaker, the design. And then when I went to go visit the most hardcore audiophile in the world uh, that I have ever met, and him having the electronic pieces, then having that interview with Stavros Danos. It took Ari Surratt from unknown company to me, or just on the periphery, knowing about it, to being, in my opinion now, one of the two companies that if I had cost no object budget and wanted one company to do everything from speakers to electronics, Ari Surratt is certainly number one in terms of tubes, that do a, a company that makes tube electronics and everything from speakers to source uh, material that I would buy. Uh, MBL probably, on, as I've said before, on the solid state side. But that's a big delta. So in 2022, Aries Surratt definitely deserves mention uh, for that. And it started at Expona, Stavros Stano's uh, interview, as well as visiting uh, Robert in Sacramento's home. Amazing home. Check out those videos if you haven't. Also, as part of that, uh, discovery, I did become aware of in acoustic as a cable line. And yeah, cables, I do put them as a tweak and a very last thing you want to do in your system, certainly your room treatments, your gear, you want that to be on point first. But if you want, and I, I've used blue jeans cable, I've got economical cables, I've talked about this many times. But if you want something sexier, you want that higher construction quality, you want that pride of ownership. I've seen them all and I've heard of all but in acoustic is one I hadn't really digested a lot and at Robert's house he had owned everything and that was the line that he gravitated to replacing everything and all of his systems with that so that spoke volumes number one but number two when I had a chance to use it as well as their power conditioner I actually put it in my system and that's another thing when you buy something and put it in your system those are kind of litmus tests of a year that you want to look for from reviewers. If they use it in their own system, then that tells you that they, whatever they say verbally or write in a review, um, they're putting, you know, it in their, in their system. That tells you a lot more. Um, also part of these cost no object things that I saw this year, another brand that came to my attention again was Acapella. Now I'd heard them many, many years ago and I hadn't heard the plasma tweeter in so long, but hearing horns, Acapella spherons and a million dollar speaker with that associated electronics from burning, which 
the absolute sound robert harley called the best amplifier in the world the dome and turntable which is an all-out assault it's hard to argue anybody's doing it much better if anybody better than that turntable all the uh tone arm that was phenomenal uh that room environment and what he was trying to accomplish with that room and system and what he did accomplish for what he likes orchestra music was just truly incredible was definitely privileged and props to acapella for coming back on my radar this year they definitely deserve a shout out in merit and really while we're talking about that uh, rick brown was one of the distributors that put that together as well as steve mccormick with some of his statement pieces and his uh power distributor and his and his preamp so uh, props to those guys, but I want to give a shout out to great distributors that I encountered this year. Uh, Rick Brown, he doesn't go to the shows as much, but visiting his house, his system with the T-Doll Akira's, uh, he had that really unique subwoofer that's not a subwoofer. That's probably going to be a product of 2023. I'll explore more. I can't give it an award just yet, but based on my initial AB taste of it, it's something I'll probably want to explore. But his room and getting to hear Lacquer for the first time was something to check off my bucket list. And it's something I would definitely put on your bucket list if you haven't. Uh, I got to do it there. And then at the Seattle show with Steve McCormick and Gary Coe with the Genesis Room. So those are standouts and things that obviously you, it's harder to buy lacquers. It's harder to have a great system to play it on. Uh, but if you get a chance to... Those deserve shout out for my 2022 awards as super memorable things that you definitely want to try to do yourself. Now, another distributor that I want to start giving some consistency awards here uh, for all the shows. And High End by Oz is another distributor. Makes the shows fun. He's always got a variety of gear. Like he does do the Thrax and teams with United Home Audio, but he's had Verity Audio. Last year, I think he had Alcivox in one of his rooms. Uh, now he's carrying Lanche speakers. He's had Borison. Uh, and always high-quality rooms and gear. Certainly, if you're in the cost-no-object market, he's a distributor you want to look at, his gear and whatever he's selling at the time to see if it might meet your needs and taste. Uh, but even more so than that, where he separates himself is making shows fun. The quality of stuff that he and Greg with the United Home Audio play after hours is just so much fun. Real music, showing off the system, not just with cherry-picked stuff. And so uh, definitely shout out to High End by Oz and Rick Brown, two distributors that uh, definitely deserve merit for 2022. Now, brands then individual products as well as brands in general that were consistent at multiple shows this year, I want to give a shout out to. And one of them that came out of nowhere for me was the Infigo and Alta Audio. Infigo, the amplifiers that were really cool, uh, Class A, but a, a tracking bias, so they didn't run hot. Really cool faceplate that's either clear or a very high quality metal cover. Uh, and the sound, and every time I heard it, it sounded great. They're usually paired with Alta Audio. Uh, and that speaker was another one that was in was a uh, new one to my attention consistently to my taste profile if i was going to go box speaker definitely resonated with me another one that resonated with me across multiple shows box speaker that i would consider is obviously a cora i've had multiple videos on them and they deserve merit and they've been resonating with a lot of my friends looking for box speakers uh that don't sound like box speakers have coherency level of performance and some value too compared to competition you're going to want to check out a chorus stuff and my videos from this year they definitely deserve uh merit as well for 2022 um thinking of some more songer whammerdine i've seen at least two shows now i don't have enough experience to quote give them a formal award uh but i they are one that i want to give like an honorable mention to for 2022 because that the guys behind it, as well as the room, are ones that stand out to me. Same thing with Muir Audio. I've now seen their uh, speakers in multiple shows consistently now. They're sounding great in every uh, show I go to. The guys behind it, A-plus, top-notch guys. These are the kind of companies you want to support. These are the kind of speakers you want to check out. Depending on where your budget is, definitely check out these guys. They deserve merit for 2022 in my book. Now... Easy budget component of the year is the source point. I mean, I have a video on that. Steve McCormick actually put his money where his mouth is, bought it, 
He's never bought a speaker as all I've known him. He still uses his speakers from when I first met him. And he, he bought these speakers. And as you heard in the video, if you haven't watched my review video that he did on him, he loved them. And I loved them at the show, but I only had a, a brief demo of scripted tracks. And they definitely impressed me. But at 3700 bucks, I mean, you can't hardly beat that. And I'm not even a box speaker guy. I would have never thought 10-inch drivers could have given that rewarding full range bass performance uh obviously it doesn't go down as much as here it doesn't give me the scale that i give here but we're talking about 3700 bucks nothing is you know going to be close to that uh that can give you such fun punchy dynamic sound that really is truly a reference quality speaker not gonna be for everybody obviously this will be open baffle fans there's some that may like british speaker design some that may like a softer presentation not as punchy or dynamic they look value other things but definitely one that anybody in the under ten thousand price range should check out um it's just universally seems to be getting acclaim all across the board so you heard it here and you're gonna hear it plenty more i guarantee you also i did do um i'll give an award a side award real quick i was thinking of the capital audio fest in the robiat room it was the first time i encountered uh, that gentleman very impressive fun guy gear that i normally wouldn't even have turntables and uh, unique type speakers and stuff flea watt type amps uh but it was enthralling to hear him talking about the gear and as well was interesting to me for kind of a counter 180 from what I normally do. One day I may do something like this, but really what stood out to me still to this day is now I almost want a turntable just to get that bird of prey tone arm, which number one is the best name for a gear I've ever seen, the, the Klingon bird of prey. It looks like it. The tone arm actually looks like the bird of prey ship from the Klingon Star Trek, but it's badass looking, uh, killer sounding. Uh, and he gave a very impressive demo of mono, stereo, doing cartridge. Uh, you could tell this guy has a passion and deserves um, looking at, even if it's not your normal taste of gear. I was, you know, it stood out to me, even though normally those kind of rooms and that kind of gear doesn't entrance me in terms of things I want to buy. Definitely just want to give a props to him. And that bird of prey tarn arm, it's got me thinking of getting a, uh, a turntable just to have that. Now, I guess I'll talk about Cedia, which really wasn't for music. It's kind of like it did have a, one music, um, well, movies and, you know, home theater. And really what stands out is probably probably close to my other product of the year was that LED wall by Quantum was the best visual thing I've ever seen, period. Uh, the quality of the picture was just unreal. The black levels, when, he, when the, the DVD stopped playing, the room was pitch black. There was no grayish shading of blacks on the screen. It was pitch black. You couldn't see your hand in front of you, which never happens with any kind of projector, at least today or normal screen. So, and then combining that with a wisdom audio home theater. Now the room had some challenges, but there's nothing like that center channel, extremely huge line array, uh, doing it as a center channel. And then those surrounds that are, line sources to me and open back well those aren't really open baffle but they just have that line source presentation which to me gives a better scale less shouty uh and just perfect for home theater uh i i was really impressed with that and definitely stood out to me as a wow room for that year so and then their other room the that well inside the the uh, convention center, the wisdom display in there was blowing people away with the subwoofer in a limitless, you know, convention center was still putting out amazing bass. So definitely wisdom audio. I own wisdom audio speakers from back in 2000, but they still do products and definitely a brand that deserves merit and something you should check out whether you're doing home theater or two channel. Now let's talk about accessories because that's another thing that can really make the difference between your system being great or not. And two things I think deserve honorable mention this year for 2022. Number one, the Seattle show pretty much was dominated by ASC tube traps. They are located nearby. They brought a full suite of stuff, all these rooms that did it. It's no coincidence that Seattle had some of the best sound that I heard all year. Now, some of it was due to lower noise floor because there weren't that many people there. And also the rooms were good size, but, all the rooms that had this, I mean, the Kef room with Parasound, normally a good room, a phenomenal room, probably the best room at that show, period, in terms of pure sound quality. 
had lots of these uh, strategically put in the room. So again, this can make all the difference. And you can turn them, have diffusion and absorption. And this is the kind of um, versatility you kind of want because nobody can, uh, you can have companies script things out and that does help. You definitely want to try to use people's technology and expertise. But at the end of the day, when you're in your room, the symmetry that they go by is always corrupted by furniture and other things in your room. The ability to twist things, change them, move them around, these give so much versatility. Not so super sexy, but if performance is your only goal, ASC tube traps is my number one uh, accessory for room treatments, in my opinion. Although, as you can see, I use others as well. And then the other accessory of the year that I think is deserves a lot of merit is obviously King Rex Electric. I've had Rex. He's a member of my channel in the WhatsApp group. Members interact. He's almost on it every day, interacting with people. And you've seen that video series. He's worked uh, with some of my friends already, helping put in Breaker Box. I'm getting his sub panel uh, from my room. That'll be 2023. That's going to be really exciting. So I'll basically have four gauge wire coming up here. I think it is. And then every, basically a dedicated line for almost every piece of my equipment. Um, and just intuitively and based on the measurements we took, I just think that this is a way to go to at least see how much improvement it, it can in, uh, in, uh, uh, give me. Uh, when I just look at everything on this side of the wall, we pay so much attention to it and we somewhat ignore, if not everything, on the other side of the wall, which doesn't make much sense when you think about it. When you look at everything on the other side of the wall with regard to power all the way back to your breaker box and your ground in your, in your uh, yard, that arguably can have much more impact on your performance than even the stuff on this side of the wall. And certainly from a safety perspective, just doing things the right way um, and just higher quality all the way through. If you believe in higher quality here, not having higher quality all the way back to your breaker box doesn't make much sense to me. And so here's a guy that uh, is doing it and I think doing it the right way and it can provide some meaningful improvements in multiple areas for you depending on your situation and where you are now. Now I will, he did also have a competition. Audio Ultra actually at the Seattle show was the first one I saw with that breaker box and sub panel. So I'd be remiss not to mention them as well. Uh, their box is about $20,000 uh, and a really nice box as well. So basically they're selling similar products uh, and both deserve merit for addressing stuff on the other side of the wall. Uh, which is an accessory I think people should start paying attention to in 2023 if you haven't already. So really, that's probably it that's coming to the top of my head. I'm sure I'm leaving stuff out. I'll have to come back and give some captions or even a uh, subsequent video. But just wanted to give you this wrap up for honorable mention. Uh, again, the Bach SP is still my product of the year. That is just a game changer. I can't wait to get in my system. So stay tuned. Sign up, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you back here soon with a lot more.